Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank our God, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, who has been given us mercies and blessings so we can be in the best condition of Islam. Secondly, salawat and salam be given to our rule Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who had brought us from the darkness and jahiliyah era into the lightness and modern era. My sisters and brothers in Islam, on this special occasion of Persia or Pesan Ramadan Santi Ibn Abbas, I, Fernanda Ilmira, from the ninth grade student of SMBIT Ibn Abbas, would like to tell you the importance of Deen before Dunya. For those who may have a know, Deen means religion or the faith we have to our God. And for dunya, it means the temporary world and universe we live in on right now. So, overall, Deen before dunya means prioritizing our religion over this short-timed world. My sisters and brothers in Islam, as what we may all know, the people nowadays seem to be forgotten about the true definition of having a religion. They mostly satisfy themselves. They know what's right and what's wrong what's good and what's bad, then what their God had obeyed and what their God had forbidden. But yet, they chose to be in their own comfort zone and forget about the threats awaiting them in the end of the day. So, we as Muslims have the right and have to give those kinds of people a warning. It may be hard at first because this word seems to be wonderful, calm and relaxing. But we also need to remember that this word is just a temporary time and the Jannah is real and eternal. If we help the religion of Allah, of course, He will help us too. As what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had said on Quran Muhammad for 7th. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu Intasuru Allah yansurukum Yansurukum wa yusabbit aqdamakum O oh believers, if you stand up for Allah, He will help you and to make your steps firm. So, do not worry, you change and fix yourself to the better because insha'Allah, he will help us and guide us into the right way. My sisters and brothers in Islam, today I'm going to tell you the three steps of understanding Deen before Dunya. First, we must know that this word is just for a temporary time. It means that this word is just for a short time. All happiness, all sadness, love, depression, they are all just for a while. Even Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said that this whole world is equal with a piece of toasty fabric and broken bones. Of course, for us Muslim, it's not a problem because we know that Jannah is real and eternal. Second, life in dunya is just like a drama, not an ordinary drama. This life can bring us into the heaven or the hell. They're all based on our actions when we're still at dunya. Were we a good person or were we bad? Did we obey the rules of Allah? Or did we do what he forbid? Those are some simple questions for us to ask to ourselves. Third, this word it is like a competition for us to win in the end of the day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created us to pray, so it's necessary for us Muslims to do what he obeyed and to fight what he forbidden. There are more than 7 billions of people in this world. In the end of the day, they will enter the heaven or will enter the hell. This is all based on our actions. We must do any kind of goodness and leave any kind of badness. My sisters and brothers in Islam, 
after understanding about Dean after dunya before dunya, we must know on how to live for our religion. First, we must know the purpose to live. As what I've said earlier, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created us to pray, so we must do it and believe in Him. Second, we must know the worth of this dunya compared to the afterlife. The worth and beauty of this dunya is much more little than in the afterlife. Even Rasulullah had said that this word in the eyes of Allah is much more lower than a dead goat in the eyes of its owner. But we must know that the death will come and believe it. All things in this world will be destroyed and died, while Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is real, eternal, won't die and won't be destroyed. The death is a reminder for us to do much more kindness, leave any kind of badness before it's too late. Fourth, knowing the true Islam, we must understand and study about our religion, what's halal and what's haram. Last but not least, the fifth, we must know the true meaning of jahiliyyah, as what Rasulullah had said, who learns the language of a group of people, then they are safe from their tricks. My sisters and brothers in Islam, as a true Muslim who cared about our religion, we must be set fast on doing our Islamic lessons. Faith is something not just an imagination, but something that must be proved by your actions and believed by your hearts. Saudara Ibasca TV sekalian, Saudari Ibasca TV sekalian, seperti yang sudah saya sampaikan tadi, bahwa kita harus meyakini dan mementingkan agama kita di bawah, di atas kehidupan kita di dunia. Ada tiga langkah dalam mengetahui bahwa agama kita lebih penting daripada di dunia. Yaitu bahwa yang pertama, dunia itu hanya bersifat sementara. Sementara bahwa janah atau surga itu kekal dan nyata adanya. Yang kedua, kehidupan di dunia ini layaknya sebuah sandiwara. Tergantung dengan kita apakah akan melakukan amal kebaikan, atau melakukan amal keburukan. Yang ketiga, bahwa dunia ini layaknya sebuah ajang kompetisi untuk memenangkan akhirat nanti. Kita juga harus tahu bagaimana cara untuk hidup di dunia untuk agama kita. Yang pertama, kita harus mengetahui tujuan untuk hidup, yaitu untuk beribadah dan percaya kepada Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Yang kedua, kita harus mengetahui nilai-nilai dunia dibandingkan dengan di akhirat. Yang ketiga, kita harus meyakini adanya kematian dan kita bisa mengambil pelajaran darinya. Yang keempat, kita harus mengetahui Islam yang hakiki, mengetahui, memahami, dan memelajarinya. Yang terakhir, yang kelima, yaitu kita harus mengetahui makna jahiliyah yang sebenarnya. That's all for me. All rights come from Allah. All mistakes come from me, and I apologize for it. Keep your spirit up because Ramadan is coming. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.